In honor of AAPI Heritage Month, let's rebody some really cool Raya dolls. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to be breaking some rules today. I'm going to be mixing up Hasbro and Mattel dolls. I have this Max Steel body. It is a um, Asian-inspired one. I think that's with the dragon that would be more Chinese than Raya's dad would be. We're going to be opening Raya's daddy, and we're going to be putting his head on this awesome body. I think it looks like a good skin tone. We want to beef him up. He doesn't look as uh, young as he does in uh, the movie. I bought it for him so we could rebody him. I know that the Hasbro bodies aren't. I don't like them as much. I you know I like a little more articulation. I don't need the made to move articulation. However, I really do like my made to move bodies from Max Steel. They're my favorite ones to use. I'm not sure if I have an extra body. Maybe if I like his head. If it really grows on me, maybe he'll become a staple and he'll get one of the made-to-move bodies. But I think it's fitting that we have this dragon, which would be Chinese. I don't know what uh, island Raya is, or Raya, sorry, is actually from. Uh, I'm doing a, a celebration video of Asian heritage, I probably should know the name of the island, but with Disney, I sometimes think it's fictional anyway. What I do know is that these are some of the coolest dolls that I own, and I have recently gotten rid of most of the dolls that I have with hair, but her, I, I couldn't get rid of. I think that she's awesome now. Also, I put her on a WWE Mattel body, so she's already rebodied. The other tops tend to be the worst thing. Sometimes they're molded on and stuff, but these are creatable world tops, their own pants, WWE bodies, and I did consider getting the new Mattel versions of these dolls. These are the Hasbro heads, but they look so much alike. Like the new Mattel ones, they're they're basically, and I've noticed that a lot with toy companies that are taking over other brands from other toy companies, the toys are looking exactly the same. Like Peppa Pig, for example, is another one that was recently taken over, and uh, they, they're making the figures exactly the same. But here we go. Uh, I love putting her cape on as a skirt. I think this is a WWE bracelet that I put on her that is weird. The hair is okay. I did do a whole review where I rebodied them. I just I can't get over how good they look on the WWE bodies. I thought the heads were harder. Sometimes the Hasbro heads are harder. I do have my heater standing by for him. And then, I'm sorry, I don't know what her name is. I'm so bad with remembering names and places, unfortunately. But I love her, and I think that she is beautiful in an evil way, but also in a non-evil way. She's really cool. And this earring, it's removable, but it, it is, it's so cool. Again, a creatable world tank top on with her own pants, which they're kind of really nice. We don't get brown clothes very often in Doll Land. And then she has, I put these combat boots on her just to bring her, I've brought them all into, you know, the modern world, uh, gold sneakers for her. And then Sisu, is that her name? I think her name's Sisu. She has her belt on, these are her pants creatable world purple top and this is this is my kind of hair it's like hair from the troll series so she's a drag she's a dragon she is a dragon yeah dragon lore so that's perfect for his chest then why didn't I realize that? Anyway, this troll hair is awesome because it's controllable and it doesn't like it's always looks good. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what it's doing. Oh, it's fluffing around here. Um, even the tinsel in it, I don't mind. Again, I did a whole review and rebody of these. I don't. It was so long ago. I don't even remember. Got white sneakers on her. I think she looks like a yogi. I love her. I did have like this yogin 
bohemian necklace on her before, but I guess that got taken off because I had to use it for other dolls. Anyway, I'm so happy with these. I think I'm going to be just as happy with Daddy-O here. And then I get a baby, Raya, but Raya. I just stopped myself from calling her Raya there to call her Raya when I should have been calling her. I don't know how to open this package. Her father's daughter, young Raya, believes in dragons. So do I. Do you think dragons come from evidence of finding dinosaur fossils? And when they found them, that's where the lore and the mystery came from. Because you have to admit, dragons and dinosaurs are basically the same thing. I have no idea how to open this. It is so sealed. I have never had this experience before. I mean, it would probably help if I used some scissors. But it seems like... Okay. You can get a set of this where she comes with a hat, and I kind of want to get it just for the hat. Oh, and also, Raya dolls are super inexpensive right now, like you find them at different places. I'm sure they probably have met five below, because we are in Canada and finding them in my dollar stores. And there's lots of stuff, like there's play necklaces, and there's the little baby dolls. I want to get the boy. The bad, the bad, I don't know if he's bad, the baby was bad from the movie. There was a boy. I am, um, I don't, I guess he was good. I don't know, were they all, were they all stealers? Or are they all, no, I think it was just the baby who was a scam artist from the streets. So we have these slippers. I took them off right away. I don't know if there's, is there a left and a right? I think there is a left and a right. I'm really hoping that they fit. I can't even wait. I can't even show you what he looks like without testing the slippers on this new body. Uh, mm, oh. um, you can kind of squeeze the feet in there. I don't... Oh, well, I have a, it would help if I put them on the right. So, oh, they fit. Wow. Okay, that uh, that is awesome. That very rarely happens in... Has brought him a tell land, but he can actually wear the slippers. Okay, and I brought some shirts that I thought would might work, but I guess we have to before I get too carried away and do the whole. Oh, I gotta check his head. Oh, it's hard. Okay, I better crank up the heater, but I don't want you to hear that. So I'll probably I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that later because we don't want to make bad sound quality but i've been using a space heater to heat up the heads i find it works very well hair dryer surprisingly gets too hot here we go here is baby raya and she has her two little braids down the side and her big ponytail and a very ribbony shirt on here and then there's little pants with uh, a nice detailed elastic waist that goes on there. And then she has these similar shoes, but she is on a high heel foot. So I wonder who they used this body from before. Maybe Anna, Anna and Elsa probably had them like this before, but she is a tiny little version of Raya. So pretty. Let's look at Daddy-O again. So here's Daddy-O. He's got the coolest hairdo in the world. Yeah, he does look, he looks much older than he does in real life. Piece of ribbon material. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that I'll be salvaging from this. He is much shorter. A Max Steel is already a short body. And uh, he is even shorter. They've made him shorter. But we are going to make him a a short king, a short muscular king, by taking off this printed on ribbon material. I do like how, I like the asymmetric of it. It's nice. It's too bad that it wasn't a nice piece of cloth and uh, we got a belt with it and we could have at least gotten a belt with it so then he would have something. However, just like all of the other girls, these pants rule and I think that they're going to look great on them. Is it in that same way? No, the, the, they really, they made it so that you have the, 
the pants being all loose up here. I like it. I like a, a drop crotch harem style kind of pant. Um, so good. How's his physique looking? He looks pretty good. Uh, he's, he's just a little guy, but he's going to do really well, I think, on the, I don't know what kind of head joint it has. I've got some added masking tape I use sometimes to fit on different heads. I don't think he's going to need that. Um, I'm going to heat up his head and we're going to we're going to see what's happening right now. I'm going to take these pants off and heat up the head. Maybe you don't mind listening to that. I could pause the video right now and uh, dress him up in his pants and stuff, but no. I think I think you don't mind hearing that. Um, I think that the ruching was in the front. Oh, let's take out these. These are WWE girl shorts, but they fit really well, surprisingly, on uh, these male Max Steel bodies. They're only like uh, a little bit shorter than Ken, a Max Steel body, so I don't mind. It's more like the guy, like Ken would be six feet tall, and then this guy would be 5'10", which is a perfectly, a perfectly acceptable height. Okay, let's see if you can get, oh yeah, the pants are going on. Changed up, I changed up my camera angle so you could see my matching hairdo. To tell you the truth, I don't like to have this hairdo. Uh, I don't know because of, in recent years, the kind of people who have hairdos like this, but I do find it convenient when I'm doing like yard work and chores. You know, you don't want your hair on your face and you don't want to put a hat on, especially in the summertime when it's too hot. So I, I'm down with the man bun. This is so good. He looks so good like this. That's the, oh, it's heating, up, it's heating up nicely. And then let's put the shoes on. And you know what? He doesn't need a shirt. Why would, why would he wear a shirt if he looks like this? And the Asian culture has, you know, a, there's a lot of martial arts. I mean, all of the martial arts come from there. So everybody has that, uh, I mean, well, not everybody, I'm sure. They have some good warrior skills, is what I'm trying to say here, especially Raya and her daddy. This is, this is awesome. I'm, yeah, there's, an, there's no way I'm ever taking this off. This is going to be a permanent fixture. He is always going to wear these shoes, and he is always going to have these pants on. And I hope it's not uh, wrong for me to cross the different cultures. I mean, first of all, this was Max Steel. This was uh, this some some kind of Caucasian guy with a with a good tan and and a dragon tattoo. But one thing I think that we can all agree on is that dragons rule. And they come from the stories of the Asian cultures. And everyone loves a dragon. So uh, can, let's look at the, can we look at those shoes again? How's his, heat? his head is really warm. So I'm going to take it off. I wonder if it's going to be one of those easy pegs. Sometimes there's a simple peg. Oh no, it's a total. Oh, it's a really small joint. We really do have to make sure that it's heated up. It's one of those tiny little pegs, so a tiny little hole. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that heating, and definitely have to take off this. I'm going to have to really squeeze it. Should I take a break and see if I've already cut off this? Yeah, I better go check my other, my other bodies like this, my other dragon bodies, and see if I have one that has the nub cut off. Well, I at least have one that doesn't have the tape on it, so I guess we have to redress him. The irony of this is that these these two, the last time I had heads on these, I had Ken heads that have man buns. And they were fighting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep all this on and the head's nice and warm. It's a very small I gotta shove all of that into the thing. You know what I don't? I just put it, I just, I let the disc in, and it's the, you know what, that would probably make his neck too short. Okay, it's not a perfect skin match, but it is definitely good enough. 
He looks so good. Yeah, this is this is one of my this is gonna be one of my new favorite dolls. I think when the head hardens that those prongs are going to it's gonna be even better. Wait, do I have an elastic band in there? I do. Hmm, maybe that's not good. I stuff little rubber elastics down in there. Sometimes. Maybe I'll take that out later. Maybe there's enough friction here that you'll be able to move the head around and it'll hold into place just with those two prongs and not taking it to stuffing that next level in there because I think that would shrunk it. I think that would push his neck down too far and it's staying on and it is movable. Oh yeah, he looks so cool. Can I get his pants on? And then we'll try on some shirts too. And I can turn this off now. So, sorry about that. That makes for a bad video, huh? I'm gonna need that tape on there, so it's better that I just leave that on for other heads that need that wider peg. And then this guy is totally... Glad I checked for the extra body. Put these pants on again. It's an unfinished edge on the hem of the pant, but that's okay. It's the same style pant as Sisu here. I love these pants too. I would probably wear pants like that. In fact, I used to. There was a time I used to go to the Tibetan stores and, and buy all of the pants there and wear them around. That was in the 90s. And who knew? I really uh, became quite a yogi kind of meditation guy in later years before I even knew. But if there is religion and uh, belief systems that I am drawn to the most, they would be ones rooted from the Asias. I have a friend from Laos and she told me once when people ask what religion she is, she says she's everything. And I really like that. And uh, there are great things about all religions. And to take all of the best parts, I think, is a, a wonderful thing to do. Speaking of taking all the best parts, this Max Steel body, this Hasbro head, shoes, and pants, Maybe not this one. Oh, yeah. We want to try on this top. See how this works out. I love him. He is my new favorite action figure. He's so cool. I love this. I really wish they were making 12-inch action figures today. They don't. But uh, I make my own from uh, the different uh, dolls that are available from today and yesterday. Max Steel's are old. They're from the early 2000s. But, yeah, he's so cool. So cool. So cool head. Dragon tattoo. His little mustache. His bun. He's super jacked. Okay, let's put on this vest and see. I think he's... Why? Why would you put on a shirt? You look like this guy. Come on. And, uh... But that doesn't look so bad. I like I like the blue and the green together kind of clashes, but in a cool way. And I was inspired by his tunic, which was a well. It's kind of a it's a, it's a more of a blue green. What's about the other one? Oh no, no blue. But I only had so many things. But I had two different styles of vests like this, and uh, this one's more. Well, at least it's it's like an animal print, so a little more tribal per se. I mean, there's a collar. It kind of looks like a tuxedo, and they have stripes. Well, I don't know. They have stripes on all of these things. Yeah, they do have stripes on both of these things. I mean, it looks pretty good, but I think he looks awesome without a shirt. But that's not bad. That isn't bad at all. If you want to modernize it, but no, we want to make him traditional. I think that he is so, so cool. All right, and he's got a special robot bracelet on. Maybe I can find some kind of thick leather bracelet that I have. 
to put on there, but I don't mind. He looks great. All right, and they all do. All right, I'm gonna show you that. I'll show you these everybody once again at the end of this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I really do love these. They are um, with their Mattel WWE bodies. They like they're super warrior jacked, and they fit better than most. I like I try to put these heads. I try to put heads on most of these bodies, and it always looks a little bit off. But with these, it just really, really works. She came with two extra swords that I have. But I like her. I love black and brown together. So good. And then this cape dress worked out really well. And those the green pants with the gold in them. They're very, very nice. They can, Hasbro does really good pants. The hair, I don't know if to put it into a ponytail because you can see how it's kind of sticking out. I do like to put my dolls with hair. It's kind of, it's weird. It's Hasbro hair, so I'm not that used to it, but it's soft, but it's standing out like it's the wiry type of hair. Anyway, I probably will put a low ponytail on her just to contain her hair a little bit more. And her, I tried to fix her hair, but she still has the crimp in it. So I'm going to have to try to get that out again too. I can't remember if there was gel in it. I don't think so. I remember it being placed very... Yeah, I don't know. I must have. The earring does like shift around a lot, unfortunately. But I like that I have the option of putting different earrings in there, and I have. But this earring is so cool that, yeah. These are, these are really, really awesome. I mean, I love Mattel, but these are, well, they have Mattel bodies, but these Hasbro heads, I, I love them. Four favorite dolls. I'll definitely be using them all month. Oh yeah, and there's her. Will I do anything with her? I don't know. She's cute. Can't say she's not cute. Let's look at her foot. Tiny little foot. I like these slippers a lot. I apologize if I said anything offensive. Cute.